Hello and welcome to another War Game Red Dragon video with me, Bubble Box. And today we're on one of the new maps. I think it's called Jungle Warfare, and I'm playing with a coalition deck, um, Red Dragons deck, which is a coalition of the North Korean and Chinese forces. So I'm starting off down here in Delta, and I'm going to be heading up to Foxtrot. And hopefully along this sort of trying to take this road between Foxtrot and Mike and seeing what happens once I get there. Now, what am I starting off with? Well, I've got the good old infantry in a BTR, um, which is uh, um, can go on the on the on this on the water as well. I got a couple of these uh, HQ sevens. With nice and which are nice anti-air, I got a, a couple of ZLFs, which are these fantastic vehicles with really high, powerful uh, Sakhalos missiles with a really, really long range. Uh, a bit of recon tank and um, a couple more sort of flak there, the PDZ 80s. That's flak. I've got a couple of anti-air choppers and um, a couple some infantry in a chopper there, and my fob. Now, so Thoth is holding the base and he's heading all well. Apparently, I think he's heading straight up the middle, pretty much. With a load of BMP3s, looks like he's got a Russian-y sort of Russian deck, really. Looks like an old, old-fashioned sort of deck there from Thoth. And who else have we got? We've got Arrows, and he's traveling up the, towards Charlie and he'll be pushing up towards Hotel, I expect. And then we've got CMAD on the left, going up towards Echo, with a lot of choppers by the looks of things, Z9s, so yeah, I think they're North Korean actually. I'm not quite au fait with all of the, uh, what everything is at the moment, so, yep, and you can't really check yet either. So, uh, we're playing against Bordeaux, Meister, Hadi, and Air, Lomb Air Lombres. So, let's get cracking. Speed up a little bit, get it going. So, Thoth's just moving his command into a better position there. And a load of raining RT over on the left here. Lots of raining RT hitting Charlie. On this map, you can expect the main battles probably sort of mid map, midway map, might golf, sort of hotelish sort of areas. This is total destruction and one hour game. Although I can't remember if this game lasted one hour, I don't think it did. So I'm getting my BTR uh, infantry squad in position. I'm just going to put them, I think, in these trees just uh, over here, in a reasonably safe position. And one of their position, one of their players surrenders really early for some reason. I'm not sure why. Meanwhile, we're getting a Waz air by arrows there onto Alpha, getting us a few points. They've already captured Juliet and Hotel, uh, so they're slightly ahead of us at the moment. My troubles have gone up onto the right, and I've unloaded these. Um, these are sort of uh, nice, sort of um, stormtrooper units. These oh, I can't even pronounce how you pronounce that. Li Huans. Managed to take down a chopper there with my anti-chopper choppers. We've got six nice, uh, sorry, eight nice infrared missiles. With a decent range. Can even take on OHs of the USA decks. Got my ZLF um, ATGM guns into position there, and a bit of anti-air there while I bring up the rest of my couple of tanks, some recon there, recon tank as well. In fact, no, that's my flak, one tank and one recon tank as well. I haven't unloaded my BTR yet. I'm a bit slow on the old uptake there. Meanwhile, Aeros, or Thoth rather, has managed to get all, all his units up towards the centre of the map on Golf, and he's pushing forward all his BMP3s, uh, which got a really nice ATGM. So he's pushing all up into the town with full of his infantry. Doesn't look like he's got too much opposition there as yet, and it looks like CMAD has managed to take the left side without too much damage being done either so then i don't know are they, are they sitting back a little bit um maybe we just haven't met each other i spot a unit coming down the road and they're just some armored cars probably with some infantry which they'll probably put in the trees oh in fact they're itos okay 
Now these ZLF 92s, really long range. I think they're the ones that just had a go at them there. And um, I'm just pushing forward my anti-air a little bit as well. And meanwhile, my stormtroopers are going to sort of head over to the direction where they are, where their armored cars were, just to try and intercept any infantry that might come over in that direction. And I've got some more of these like stormtroop type infantry over in the trees on the left hand side as well. Just pushing forward to see if there's anything over there. And in the meantime, in the middle, Arrows is engaging in the town, trying to clear this town out. They've got some diggers in there, some salt pioneers. He's got a number of these motor stroke here, again, one of the old favourites. He's definitely gone for the old favourite units here in his Russian deck from Airland Battle. And there's a bit of artillery support there coming over from CMAD as well. So a nice bit of teamwork there. And Eros is looking for a bit of support on an attack to hotel. Now in the meantime, I'm just pushing up nice and easy up here on the right hand side. I haven't come across a lot of opposition, but I do know there's probably some infantry over here somewhere. So I'm just pushing forward these tanks. And they'll spot some infantry there. And luckily these tanks were able to open up. And there's an Ito there, but these ZLS with their fantastic Saklos missiles take that out immediately. I'll bring my other ZLF up and my recon tank so we can get a view of what's going on. And put my push my infantry forward to engage their infantry, although most of their infantry have already been taken out. And there's our last Ro Roku, there's a tank in there. Roku? Um, but if my infantry can get, these infantry have got some nice sort of napalm rounds, they should be able to stun those tanks and then take them down, so they should be able to stun them. And then, yep, so they're stunned and bang, taken out of oh, really cheap stuff actually, really cheap tanks, 10 points, so they're not going to be very powerful at all. And those infantry and those ZTZs should be able to take care of those nicely. I push my ZLS up a little bit more and push my so put my uh, push my uh, choppers forward a little bit as well, just to see what's going on. So I'm I'm, I'm sort of pushing going forward, and killing a few units. So there's not massive opposition on my side, and Thoth has managed to t pretty much take complete control of Gulf. There's just some random units left, and it looks as if he's just put a command vehicle over in the trees so we've got nice command of the middle of the map now which is excellent stuff and arrows has got all his units sort of spread around in these trees where they can't be seen too easily and on the left cmad has got nice control of echo and i expect he will soon put a command vehicle on there as well so it's looking pretty good at the moment so i'll just speed it up a little bit I'm just continuing just to gradually edge forward. I don't want to go forward too much because I haven't got a lot of anti-air and they could, if I go forward too much and they spot all my units, they could just flood me with aircraft and just destroy everything. So I'm just going to be a little bit careful and try and... I've got some anti-air, these Crotals, but they've only got four missiles in each and I've got this flak as well. So I'm not, you know, I've got some anti-air but just not masses. I want to just want to get my tank, my recon tank to catch up so we can see what's up, what's going on up at the front there. And another load of artillery comes in. I think before this game started, we did note that to one of their you one of their team did have a support deck, which means it's probably full of artillery. Um so we were aware that we would probably be artilleried throughout this game and they would sit back a little bit because this is total destruction of one hour. Doesn't really matter how much ground you take except just to get points. So arrows just probing forward and heading for this little town here. And uh, CMAD is just um, consolidating his position and putting some infantry up into the tree lines. Now in the meantime, I sort of pushed up a little bit here. I've just, sudden, I've just had a mad rush to the head and uh, fast moved all my units up along this road. And I'm thinking, well, you know, Resistance is fairly thin here, and let's push up and see what happens. So my choppers sort of go in, and my infantry are moving forward. I'll just slow it down to normal speed just a bit, and my choppers go all the way up into their home base of Kilo, and they just haven't got any anti-air in there. 
and but I do bring forward my two anti-air choppers which actually have a go at a hornet and actually take it down and Meister has had enough and my choppers just going forward I've got my Z9A in there as well and they're not really responding to my threat at all they're just like I don't know, they've just left their back door completely open when I've been able to flank all the way around the side. And now I do note in a lot of games at the moment, people aren't that careful about their flanks. I'm sure as uh, time goes on, people will realise exactly what's going on on these big maps and they do need to cover their flanks or at least be able to see something that's coming with recon so that they can sort of respond a little bit but now you can see I'm all the way round the back now towards Kilo and I've pretty much destroyed one of their spawn points and one of their aircraft points as well plus of course this Kilo is worth a fair amount of points is it five points so they're down on points as well so also helps my teammates they're I'm managing to push forward now in the middle with arrows pushing nicely in the middle um, CMAD is still sort of Oh, still messing around with his infantry over there. Bring forward a couple of MI-24s, some recon here so I can recon sort of what's going on over in India. Maybe even push forward into India and my stormtroopers are coming forward as well. Now they have got, just spotted, they have got some anti-air in these buildings somewhere. Or is it this guy? It might be, might be this guy. They've actually brought some units in at last. Bunch of anti-air units there. Going to have a go at my choppers. Gun tanks, actually. They're quite... Ex Where have they gone? Come back gun tanks, I want to look at you, there we are. These gun tanks. Pretty mad things. But I've got my ZLFs here. These really powerful uh, Sakos missiles again, and they're actually nearly out of ammo. They've killed quite a few gun tanks, and they're trying to... Oh, just snipe that CV just before it <laughs> managed to get itself into position. So that was quite fortuitous. And my recon has spotted this bow 10... 105p here and just comes back there's a tiger coming in I'm a bit low on anti-air I've got enough choppers to keep back his gun tanks and that but I am short on anti-air um, so I'm sort of just oh, I've got an anti-air anti-chopper chopper here there's a little mini gun so survive that one MI24 coming across there sort of multi-purpose sort of chopper which can use can shoot at choppers can shoot at ground units and can shoot at tanks as well so it's a nice little, and that's actually bought in to have a go at these gun tanks now i also bring in an mi-8t with a uh, um, infantry uh, command so that i can stick it in kilo and i can spawn some units out of kilo now so i've come all the way down this side just sort of getting rid of light resistance all the way. They still haven't really responded in a big way. They never did from the start, which is a big mistake. I bring out some ZTZs, uh, some tanks, and an HQ-7, some anti-air, and just push them forward over towards India to see what's going on over there. So a bit of anti-air supporting a couple of tanks. Let's see what's going on. So these guys are getting completely surrounded now. My teammates are continually pushing into the middle and I'm just sort of outflanking them completely around the side. I also managed to even bring in an MI6 to refuel some bits and pieces. Now they do bring, before they lost these units here, I'm not sure exactly where these came from. I never even noticed them when I was flanking around these toes. So I'm not sure where they came from, but they came from somewhere. I just send my uh, MI-8Ts with the rocket pods along, but um, I didn't realise that these, I think I got shot down by these auto cannons. I'm not quite, not totally sure. But it does mean that my um, command is under threat. However, I've already brought in another command and stuck it in this building when I saw these. And I did that quite quickly when I saw these. So that even if I did lose this or have to move this, then I would still have the spawn point. So I've got two commands in there now. So I'm pretty well uh, consolidated in that position. And I've also managed to get uh, my units up here and taken control of their fobs. We did know they'd have a couple of fobs because uh, one of them has a support deck. So I'm pretty overrunning them now. Take out the CV there. They've got one more CV somewhere. Um, so we're just hunting for that now. But um, they're pretty much finished now. There goes the last CV. 
GG, so that was quite a quick game. I thought oh, I'd upload that just to show the power of flanking. Admittedly, they're probably not the best team in the world. And we did have some quite nice uh, kill to death ratio. It's called kill, loss, uh, kill to loss ratios as well. But people are going to have to be much more careful of their flanks in this game. And I would say if you're in a team, put your strongest players in the flanks because that's where the big danger lies. So thanks for watching this video, first video using the um, Red Dragons Coalition deck. And I'll put one more Red Dragons Coalition deck up, deck video up before I do um, another deck as well. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.